Well, hello out there in YouTube land. Well, I'm finally able to get back on my axe project and work on it. So, this is going to be uh, sharpening it a little bit, kind of a preliminary sharpen, and putting the overstrike guard on it for a permanent attachment. So, stick around, we'll get right to it. This is Surviving 2, coming to you with another video. Well, thanks for sticking around. I got a little segment of a video here for you of me pre-sharpening the axe head. I did that before getting out here and doing this. And on that segment of video, I had a microphone, a lapel mic, that it was going bad on me, so I had to ditch it, and you're going to have to listen to some hum on it. But uh, yeah, you get to see that video, and here it is. Well, here I am in here. I'm about to sharpen this thing. I've got the grinder here set up. I don't have it plugged in. I've got it set up with the vice grips, uh, vice grips, the uh, locks. I've made a template of a 25 degree angle here. Let's see if that's in focus. Yeah. I've taken this little ditty here and put it on a 25 degree angle like that and set it up and centered it and got to 25 degree uh, it, I read several different things anywhere from around 25 to 28 degrees is a good angle for a hatchet and everything so I've got the switch locked on and I've got my plugs over here I'm just gonna plug them up and get the sanding disc going and this is gonna be god awful loud I'm gonna try and hold this thing at the 25 degree angle and just run it across this thing and then flip it and then run it like that I'm gonna end up muting the sound on this before when I go to editing before I turn this thing on so it won't blow you guys out <laughs> I don't want y'all losing your eardrums over this I'll suffer on my end of it so let's see how uh, doing all this freehand let's see how close I can get to the angle I'm pointing at it y'all probably can't see it on camera so all right, here we go. Let's see how we can do. All right, y'all can have your hearing back now <laughs> and the sound. Let's see if I can get this up on camera where y'all can see what I'm seeing. That's, I got pretty damn close. That looks about right. I don't know if you're seeing it, but that looks pretty damn close. The rest of it, I'll be able to take it out when I do it on the stone. 
I'll take it on on my Japanese stones and I'll go ahead and hone it and run it on them and get it to the rest of the way see if it's hot no it's not hot good and that wheel I just ran it on I got it fairly sharp there that's a 60 grit so that got it down to a fairly good fairly good run there so I'll leave it like that all I wanted to do is kind of get it to a rough angle and the rest of the way like I said I'll go ahead and hit it with the uh, Japanese stones once I get everything all set up the next thing I guess I'll go ahead and do is take and put the overstrike guard on it and get that going then the final thing to do is work on the cover itself and then the very last thing will be hitting the final edge on it and get that thing going so yeehaw now y'all kind of get a, a look see of what it's kind of looking like now so it's a shame this is going to be a working axe and uh, all this nice new shyness is going to go away once i get it out in the field so <laughs> all right let's go on to the other steps see you in a bit okay there you see uh where i got uh axe pre-sharpened so now we're out here and i'm at the park bench and i'm going to go ahead and put the overstrike on and i've had it soaking for a little bit and i'm going to go ahead and put it on here wet and i've got a second camera over here yep pointing at it now <laughs> and that way once it dries it'll shrink up and hold to it a lot better and a lot tighter so let's get it out here get it dry make sure it's not tied to tight in a knot Take a little of the wetness off. Make sure I'm getting it going the right direction. Just string everything through here. I've already pre-laced it. So I've got the lace on there in the right direction I want it and the right pattern of what I want. Okay. If I can get my hand in here and get it right. Yeah. There it goes. All right, now we got it going on there. Now, make sure you can see that. Yep, get it pulled back in the frame. <coughs> <coughs> I 
get it centered up on the axe get it shoved up to where I want it see if you can see that I'm trying to make sure I get it to where this one's seeing it too so I've got stitching on this this portion of it uh, Okay, now wait a minute. Yeah. I think there's an issue with my pre lacing it. I think some of the laces, oh, there they are. Yeah, they just went further down it. All right, there we go. Maybe I should turn it this way where you guys can see more of what I'm doing. Get this a good distance where y'all can see there. Get my big fat hand out of the way, y'all might appreciate that. Okay, I see where one of them's acting up. I guess I need to have a pair of needles or something over here to be doing this with. That way it Y'all can see what's going on more. Trying to make them nice and even.
Mm, getting there. It's slow. I guess y'all can see it. Get all that excess. See it that in frame, yeah. There, that's that's got it there. That should be pretty good. Now all I got to do is take this last bit and tie it off. Get it out here where y'all can see it. And make sure how I Need to tie this one. Let's see. Do you? I am not the world's best knot tier. Okay. Think I need to have it going this other way. Yep, 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 yep. There. Yeah, then I get a good pair of clippers and clip real close on that and let this dry real good and that's going to be up up real tight and like I say when this dries shrinks up good that's right I'll show you here 
that's right up against that shelf that I made on the get that out of the way that's right up against that shelf that I made on the handle so that way it won't come off and it's it's pretty much up against oh, get my fat fingers out of the way got a little bit of a gap right there but that's not bad not bad for a first attempt and here's the here's kind of a close-up of the let's see will you focus there you go that's that first attempt at uh, sharpening on it that's with the grinder the right angle grinder so there it is that's pretty uniform around the back and uh, center I have a, a V shape stitched into this thing it's fair it's not dead center but that's all right I can live with it I'll be happy with it as long as it protects the axe handle that's the main thing it's all it's made for once it dries it'll it should shrink uh, shrink as easy for me to say shrink right down yeah I can feel where the leather is right at the edge of where that shelf is for it so yeah not bad that'll be pretty good now the next video will be me working on the cover for this thing that'll be interesting uh, I've decided on doing a flap over cover for it and I'm gonna be having to cut some new leather for that I've got oops, protect that I've got some I got a box here you can see it off to the side this is where my leather stuff is I've got a whole sheet got a whole sheet of leather here for it so I'm going to take it and figure out make a flap over for it and do that once I get it made up and done right, I'm going to make it the same color as the overstrike guard. I've got some stain somewhere in here. Err. I got some stain for it, so I got to get it made first and then all the parts and pieces put on it and everything and then stain it so that's it for this video see you on the next one on uh, what is it part four and that should be the finish of the axe I should be done with it then so y'all take care out there later I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.